Today we're going to be replacing an oil cooler line on our 97 Astro van. Here's the part number, it's 625-105. I'm um, kind of show you what it looks like. It's going to be pretty difficult to be inside so you can see this. But I will try to get the best shots that I can. These do go out quite often. So this is what it looks like. This connects right by the oil filter. There's a little mount right above the oil filter. And this connects to the radiator. We have some quick clips that we're going to be having to remove to get these off and get the other one in place. And then there is, I believe, a 10 millimeter bolt right here where it connects to the block. Other than that, that's all there is to this. Should be pretty simple and straightforward, so we'll go over to the car. I'm going to show you how to remove these clips. But you have, I just have a little hook tool right here. And I've got it underneath that clip, and all you have to do is just pull it straight up. Okay, and then it should just come right off. So you can see that. Now I'm going to just take my needle nose pliers and I'm going to just go in there and I'm going to grab that clip and pull the clip out. And then I'm going to replace it with a new one. All right, now I just got a standard screwdriver. It's kind of a big one. I'm just going to put it in between that little valve and the line and I'm just going to twist it. And it should pop out. It's got a good amount of pressure on there. But it should just pop out, just like that. All right, I'm down here on this bottom one. It's a lot harder to get to, but I've got my little hook tool. Okay, you can see it right there. So what I'm going to do is just get this right underneath. Okay, and I'm just going to put it under like that. You can kind of see what I'm doing. It's right underneath the hook. And then I'm just going to pull up. Okay. Just like that. All right, just like on the first one, just gonna take a screwdriver, put it in between the fitting and the line, okay, and then just twist it, and it should just pop out of there. Now it's under a little bit of pressure just because the line is um, it's kind of. There you go, and now that one's out. Now it's gonna be leaking just a little bit of oil, what's ever in that line. All right, now we're just gonna jack up the uh, driver's side. All right, now we're just gonna put the jack stand up. All right, now I'm on the driver's side. Right up here is the oil filter. And here's the line, you can see where it connects right to that top side of the oil filter and it runs back and then there's a 10 millimeter bolt right there around that grommet so I'm going to release that 10 millimeter bolt and I'm going to come and I'm going to release that looks like a 12 or 13 millimeter bolt and then that line I should be able to work it out All right, now I'm going to hit this. This is a 13 millimeter. Okay. So that pulls out, and this should release. And there you go. All right, I kind of released it a little bit up front so I could get to it, and then it just needs to pull out through the bottom. You just kind of got to wiggle it to get it out. Just kind of keep in mind when you put it back in, it's got to come up from underneath. All right, here's the old one. Just want to kind of match it up. Make sure that everything's in the right spot. Obviously, I got to move this bushing down a little bit. Everything looks pretty much the same. Just want to make sure before you, you go and put it in that everything is identical. This will give me enough room that I can twist it and do what I need to. Make sure that these are positioned as they need to be. And then we'll just uh, reinstall this. We need to take this piece and it needs to go up underneath the, uh, the subframe and into the, uh, into the engine bay up into here. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right, I wanted to show you the clips. These right here are the new ones that come with the kit. This is the old one. The other one fell underneath the car, I can't find it. But you want to install these two clips first before you put the oil cooler line up. And the way these go in, you just want to take them and position them where they line up in the holes 
and then they just snap in like that. Yeah, I fished the line up here. It's in position. I just want to snap it in like that. And then I'm going to take my little C-clip and I'm going to install that. And that's it. Okay, I'm up here underneath trying to get the bottom one in. I already snapped the line in. So I've taken the C-clip and I put it on a little vice grip. I'm just going to kind of get it up here into position and snap it into place. I don't think you guys can see where I'm at, but this is about the easiest way to show you. The best way to put it in until it snaps in. So what I did is I took the vice grip and I put it, put the line in and then I put the clip on the vice grip and I just pushed it up into place. And then all I have to do from here is just get it lined up and then it'll just snap in. Probably easier said than done, but that's how you have to do it. So there you have it, oil cooler line pain in the butt to replace. They're really hard to get up into place and to get them out. Uh, but where these leak is right here. They leak out of these seals. They just, you can see how oily it is. It's been leaking from here and rolling back down. So anyway, this took about an hour to fix. This oil cooler line is about $75 at O'Reilly. So you can do it yourself in about an hour or you can pay to have somebody do this we're running around $200. So anyway, save about hundred bucks, you do it yourself. If you have about an hour that you want to spend doing it. So anyway, hopefully you learned something. Check us out, skydysmobiledetailing.com. So there you have it, oil cooler line. Took about an hour to replace. Uh, the part costs about 75 bucks. Where they tend to leak is right here. They leak on those gaskets. Right where those clamps are is where they start to give way. You can see how oily it is. So um, anyway, it took me about an hour to replace this. Uh, and they also rub right here. They kind of rub together. You can see that. These two hoses kind of sit on top of each other. So they've been known to break there too. The hardest part about this, I would say, is getting the hose back into position. Uh, removing it, it kind of falls out. Um, you just got to kind of finagle it to get it out. But getting it back up into position is pretty much the hard part. So anyway, uh, hopefully you learned something from the video. Uh, please like the video. Thanks.